Good day. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Minecraft Play. I just checked and it has been 98 days since I last played Minecraft on this system, on this world. And um, so I'm back in my home office space. Uh, I took quite a bit of time setting up my... well, I'm not done actually. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna adjust my webcam by tilting it to show show the space. But um, anyway, I took some time setting up my desk. It's in a different position in the room. The walls have been painted. There's a new floor, which is nice. And uh, goodness, it has been ages since I played this world. 98 days to be precise. <laughs> um, nice little hiccup there. So, to reacquaint myself with this world a little. Oh, look at this. Stained glass. What? And scaffolding and netherite chest plate. Ah, yes. And my Elytra. Wow, I am. I am OP in this world, let me tell you. Uh, I guess that's what happens when you play for a couple hundred hours. All right, so the last thing I had done, I think in, in episode terms, was I had built this uh, I think we're going to go with pod way up in the sky on my tower. So I'm going to have to reacquaint myself with my tower too. What did I do here? I was, or sorry, not what did I do? I was trying to come up with all of the, well, maybe not all, a lot of different unique materials to make floors out of. Nether wart, pumpkin, melon, bone, stone, granite, andesite, polished, purpur, and, oh, purpur was the last one, and, uh, right, and the last, and where I built these little, uh, oh, let's call them dingle balls. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> okay, so I lit it up in a non-symmetrical fashion. I see. That one's out of place. This was the... S was this the second one or the first one? I'm not even sure. Okay. Here's what I had done with the stained glass. Or, well, sort of, kind of. Oh, I remember, yeah. The stained glass looks funny hanging out. It leaves sort of a hole. Why did I make that design, you say? I have no idea. Kind of looks like an S. A 2 or a 5, depending on how you look at it. What direction you look at it from. Um, I honestly can't remember if I had... Plans beyond that for the stained glass. Looks a little funny with some of the panes recessed and some of them not. I might have to rethink that a little bit. I might have to rethink that a little bit. And so then I didn't uh, I didn't record when I made the second one. And I can't remember which was the first one and which was the second one. And then my other giant plan was to make a sky bridge between the monster spawner way over there and the poor poor or chorus tree farm in the sky aka poor poor raw material um, and but I think I wanted to be close to the same level for that or more or less exactly at this. It's probably not going to work out exact, but 
probably closer. Where are we here? We're at 128. And do I have my Elytra on? Can I remember how to use Elytra? I can, barely. Let me uh, launch myself in the direction of the Chorus Tree Farm and see if I can't come into a moderately graceful landing here somehow. Oop, colliding with a chorus tree. Well, I guess it could have been a lot worse. So this is at, uh, what, 160? Did I? I don't remember what I just said. Isn't that smart? 128? Yeah, it was 128. 128 versus 160, so actually the chorus tree farm here and the monster spawner is considerably higher up. Um, I believe I'm adding five in height per floor that I add to my tower. Five block height, that is. So that would mean another six floors, seven floors, I guess, depending on how, where I extend the bridge from. And then there will be a, a slight vertical adjustment there. I reacquaint myself with all of my equipment here. Wow. I am OP in the extreme here. A witch! A dead witch. Alright, all my equipment has now been mended. How about that? I knew I had done this a little bit differently than, than the one I've been playing, my Minecraft in Exile series. I don't know if I'll rename that to Minecraft No Longer in Exile. Maybe I will. We'll see. Getting back into my house is uh, pretty nice. We'll be staying here for the first time in a little over three months. I think it was March, my wife said it was March the 23rd when we moved out, I believe is what she said. Now, it was after that that I had packed up my systems and put them away. My last recording was the 27th of March, so it was about 100 and, what did I say, 98 days? Or more than that, uh, it's been 102 days, 102 days since I last slept in this house. There is so much unpacking to do, and hopefully downsizing as well. Downsizing, that's not quite the right word. Decluttering, getting rid of stuff. Decrapificating. Decrapification, I do like the sound of that. Anyway, my intention is, as everything is packed up, well, not everything anymore, obviously not my... My main computer system here is no longer packed up as of about, well, as of today. I spent a bit of time reassembling it and setting up my desk and everything and doing the cables all nicely and cleaning everything, cleaning all the cables and all the equipment. It was packed up in a hurry, so. Now I don't have to uh, run away for the night time on this, on my island here. It's, I believe, fully lit or close to fully lit. I don't think monsters can spawn out here too much. Um, wow, it has been a long time reacquainting myself with everything. Although I've played this world so much, you would think I would remember without any trouble. Oh, wait a minute. Why was I cutting melon with my non-silk touch axe? That was dumb. In my 
Minecraft and Exile game, I put just put Silk Touch on my regular axe. I'm not sure that there's any downside to that, to be honest. Um, but it didn't really occur to me on this one. I could still do that, obviously. Maybe I'll try it if it's not... Uh, if it's possible, I should say. It might be too much... Too much magic power to be contained in this one axe. I wonder if I have any Silk Touch um, spell books. Let's run over this way and, and take a look, shall we? How can I sit that looks a little better? Oop, looks a little better. New recipes unlocked. Oh, I don't know why it's suddenly unlocked. There's a new biome in this version of the game, which is cherry. Actually, I think there's more than one new biome, but anyway, new wood and, and such. Um, the game's been updated, I think, since I played it last. Ah, my beautiful, my beautiful base. I do like this base a lot. Oh, I forgot I did that. I colored the, the signs in a sort of a checkerboard pattern, yellow and yellow and white, I think that is, although it doesn't really come out as white. Ugh, remembering where I put everything, that's going to be the tricky part. Um, yeah, now that I do have a Silk Touch Axe, which is right there, I had stopped. I had stopped piecing together melons. So, uh, so that's a thing. Can't really, pretty sure my melon yeah, let's, uh, oh boy, I have uh, an embarrassment of riches here, don't I? Yeah, I think my equipment is all fully built out. I don't, I'm not needing to, um, to do much trading with villagers. I think I've got tons of emeralds as well. Where, oh where, have I got spell books? Are they here? Yes, they are. Do I have Silk Touch anywhere? So much. Oh, I do. Well, let's try that, shall we? Where's my... Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, that's right. Is that not? I'm confused. Is that? Shouldn't it say something like too expensive? Oh, wait a minute. Is this? Is it because it's netherite? Is that what's going on here? What if I just take? No, not a sword. Um, if I just take a regular old pickaxe. Yeah. So can you not enchant things further once they're netherite? Or once they're, yeah, once they're netherite? If that's the case, I was not aware of that. Apparently that's the case. Or do you need to do it somewhere else, like the smithing table? Upgrade gear, add smithing template. See, I don't, okay, I don't actually know anything about this. Where did my axe go? There. No, oh, hang on. Okay, I can't put this anywhere, so apparently that's not a thing that I'm going to be able to do. Okay. I'll have to uh, experiment with that another time. Uh, weapons and armor. Do, 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 do. I guess I could take a diamond axe and chant it up with everything, including silk touch, perhaps, and then turn it into netherite. Oh, except I think I need a smithing template for that, which I don't know. Oh, that works now. I don't know where you get smithing templates. 
probably in the nether somewhere. Uh, what am I looking for? I want to see what I've got for netherite. Okay, actually I've got lots. Lots of netherite, lots of diamond, lots of everything. Hey, where's my gold and such? Still haven't found an ancient city in this game, have I? What do I do with my gold? That's weird. My gold! Where's my gold? Lots of maps. Spellbooks being built up, that's not really a thing that I do anymore. Turns out that was a little bit misguided. Where on earth did I put gold? Is it, is it perhaps down here? Well, isn't that weird? What did I do with gold? Oh, copper and gold. There we go moved it to a new chest, which I forgot about. Alrighty then. Well, um, I have all of the stuff. I have all stuff. I have everything like crazy. So much stuff in this game. Oh, what was I building? Why was I making this? <laughs> I think it was just to get stone actually. If I'm not mistaken. Different approach to quarrying than, I, than I've taken in the Minecraft and Exile game. Which is okay. Alright, well, this is thrilling. Watching me get reacquainted with my my long-standing base here. Ah, uh, yes. Lovely set of maps there. All filled in. I'm just going to sleep the rest of the night away, which is actually, I see the sun is coming up already, so that was kind of pointless. Anywho, let's go have a look at my map wall out here. I'm trying to remember if there was more than just those four. So one thing I would like to do, and little fly. Isn't that nice? Uh, one thing I would like to do in this game, and maybe that's a good good goal to set for this episode, is to do a bit of exploration. Um, oh, over here. Ah, no, I really haven't. Oh, wait, there's one. I haven't gone outside of the boundaries of this world too much. I don't know, what was this? Oh, mountains. Yes, I remember. There were, uh, there are mountains down there, and it's underneath and in between the mountains that you seem to find ancient cities, or deep dark anyway. I don't know if that's true of ancient cities. I think the two are, well, maybe that's not true. Maybe that's a pile of crap. Maybe I was deluding myself along. Anyway, I found some, I found plenty of deep dark in this world, uh, down under here was the first one, and I think down under here as well, if I remember right. And um, so anyway, what might be a good direction to set off in search of a cherry forest biome, whatever the biome is called, I don't actually know. Who knows? I'll just pick one, I guess. So let me take my Elytra and some maps and you know what I'm going to do actually is um, nip on up here 
boy, it is handy to have Elytra. Oh, that was a little bit of a rough landing. Okay, so I have stone, I have firework rockets. Uh, maybe I'll take a couple of sets of that. I can put all kinds of stuff away here. I doubt that I really give a crap about having... Most of this stuff. I certainly don't need any more poppies, but anyway, we'll just put those away. Water bucket there. Not carrying a fishing rod, that's fine. I've got food, I've got torches. I don't have maps. Okay, uh, which direction did I come in here? Not this one. Let's jump off into the void. And glide. We glide out this way, and then turn around and glide this way, and see if I can do a nice dock landing. Ooh, too fast. Come in. Oh, I hit my house. I clipped the corner of my house. Man, this flying, this accurate accuracy in flying is uh, hard to come by. Okay, so what am I wanting to do here? I'm, going, I'm wanting to take some maps, not that one. Uh, I don't know, three maybe? Oops, what did I... Literally, I just said three and I took two. I also want a cartography table. Um, where would I stash an extra cartography table? Tools? Surely I have an extra cartography table. No? My expedition box? No. Uh, where have I got paper then? I don't have any paper here either, do I? Too much stuff scattered all over the place. End dimension things. What about my ender chest? No, sir. Okay. Uh, shulker boxes. Those are handy. Should I bring a shulker box with me? Sure, why not? Give me some extra storage space. Um, food galore, ladders galore. No paper. No paper. and no cartography table. I believe I just need paper to make a paper and, and uh, planks to make a cartography table and I'm scratching my nose like mad. Okay. Let me... That's a crap number for making paper. I need a multiple of three, don't I? Maybe I'll get 63. How are we doing here? Oh, 64. Right on the nose? Wow. That feels unlikely. All right, we'll put, oh, that noise I just heard was uh, one of these being shorn. This is my quite nice and productive, and I built it up to be even taller, apparently. Anyway, my productive and lovely automated sugarcane farm. I do like that. now. I didn't come up with that design on my own, more is the pity, but uh, it is a good design. Also the automated wool farm, also not my own design, but quite clever. Quite clever and quite compact. It relies on the, those observer blocks, which, uh, oh, and the dispenser behavior, the fact that when it shoots out a, a um, thingamajig, the shears, they 
shear the sheep and then they fall back into the the dispense like they don't actually come out I'm not quite sure what the me mechanics like what the rationale for that mechanic is but anyway apparently I can not think and talk at the same time that should be enough paper I think oh that should be more than enough paper and a cartography table I think is just for Or planks and a couple of pieces of paper and then you have a cartography table now is it coming yeah we're like three quarters of the way through the day already yes we are how about that alrighty well if I were a cherry blossom biome which direction would I be Hmm. Little mushroom island there. Got extensive ocean in these in these four maps. And then lots of land around. I feel like maybe over here. So assuming that is true. to carry this map right here. Uh, yes, this one right here. I'm going to set off more or less straight east, but I will spend the night before I do that. Maybe. Will I? Or will I just set off? Do I have a bed? Oh, I don't have a bed. Let's get a bed. You want a bed on an expedition like this. Uh, although, well, no, you want a bed on an expedition like this. Do I not have a bed for expeditions? What the heck? How do I not have a bed? Good lord, I must have stashed it somewhere else. Uh, I do not know where, so let's make one. Three wool. Oh, actually. Ah, whatever. White is fine for now. I have dyes, don't I? I have dyes. What color should it be? Lime? I have lots of lime dye. Pink, yellow, blue, red, green, orange, brown. Where's brown dye come from? Is it cocoa? I think it's cocoa. Cyan is pretty rare. That's a blend, I'm sure, as is lime. I think we'll just go with lime. And wood is over here. Wood, the type of wood is irrelevant, so might as well be spruce. And let's set ourselves up with a nice, lovely uh, lime bit. Oh, can't do it in one go. Apparently not. Nice, lovely lime green bed. That is attractive. And with that accomplished, I forgot about my lovely skylight. Should be time to sleep. All right, we'll have a schnooze. I do like this base. I do like it a lot. Okay, we'll have a schnooze and then we will see about launching ourselves into the sky. Straight east. Now I could speed up this process quite a bit by burning firework rockets, but no rush. No rush. Just enjoy the scenery. Oh yeah, I carved that channel in the landscape as I was going towards the, uh, there you can see it there. I made that marker out of 
dirt. I think it's dirt. It might be wood. Those two pillars with the torches on top. I'm sure. I'm. I believe I found. I found deep dark down there. Um, pretty sure. Okay, so we got like halfway to the border of the next map on a single. Well, not quite on a single rocket. Oh, let's uh, just take a little more height there. That was a near thing, actually. Smacking into some giant spruce. What do we got down there? Is that fire? Oh, it is fire. It's a lava pool. Burning, burning. Okay, well, we'll just cross over that and... Uh, all right, getting close to the edge of the map boundary, and it's ocean. Uh, so what am I going to do here? Oh, this is not ideal. I want to be... Well, I guess it doesn't matter which map I'm on. Okay, I'm just going to come in for a landing, hopefully, on this island quite nicely. There we go. Nice little touchdown. There's lovely. Oh, looks like there's some more. Do I have my spyglass? I think that's a giant spruce. Like, no, well, maybe it isn't actually. Looking at the leaves on it, I guess just maybe on some landscape. Anywho, let's uh, let's set up the old e cartography table, assuming I'm off the map. I am. I'm not sure which map I'm on even. Okay, let's plop that guy down. Put the spyglass away. Uh, we'll get a new map. Did I not say I was going to take three maps? Good lord, what is the matter with me? Okay, let's activate this map. And hopefully we are in a new quadrant. If not, I have wasted a map. Quadrant isn't quite the right term. Oh, there we go. Yes, I am. All right. Well, oh, my back is hurting. <laughs> Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. All righty. Uh, let's see here. Maybe I'll just come out this way. Maybe sort of diagonally, a bit of a diagonal. Go up this way. A what? Now I'm assuming if I turn off the interface, uh, what number is my are my rockets? The map is six and the rockets are seven. Oh, ocean. So if I do this without the interface, seven for a rocket. And six for the map, and then we'll check back in a moment and see. Yeah, okay, that seems to be working. What's that? What is that? Is that a what is that? What's a ship embedded in the beach? Wow, cool. I've never I've never seen that before. Okay, let's uh Wow, these are efficient tools. Holy macro. What was I saying about plenty of sand or was that in a recent episode in this? I think that might have been in a recent episode that I was reviewing. I watched excerpts from my last couple of episodes in this world before I started playing this game because I just wanted to try and reacquaint myself a little bit with what I had been doing. This is kind of cool. A shipwreck that's been filled up with sand. Now I'm going to have infinity of 
sand, but that's okay. The um, the Wachimadui chest will be handy for that. Can I go? Oh, no. Humans can't go. I don't know who made these ships. Pygmies? It's certainly not players or villagers. So you can't get through that stairwell. Oh, maybe you, I wonder if you could if you crouch. I should try that. There we go. We've excavated the cabin. Let me try that. Can I get through there if I crouch? Oh, what am I doing? There. Oh, I can if I crouch. Okay, never mind. I take it back. Ooh, look at all this stuff. Um, okay. Well, let's uh, unlimber ourselves of some sand. Take all that stuff in one big gulp and pack it all into this chest. Including the chest. Something kind of TARDIS-like in that whole procedure. Is that... Oh, that too. I guess I don't need the flint and steel at all, but... Or was I carrying that? Maybe I was carrying that, actually. Because it's worn. It's worn! Forgot. The pickaxe is the tool for that. Okay, now that's jungle wood. I could take... Oh no, it's spruce that I have mean. Uh, is there not a staircase down into this section? Am I missing something? I guess I've not really ever explored, uh, or I'm not sure if I've ever explored a ship that's not in the in water and at some weird angle. There, well, there was that one world where there was one hung up in the ice. In fact, that's this world, I think. That was that was early on in the game. There's the chest. But how do you get out from here again? Oh, look at that paper and a buried treasure map. Nice. Is this a third chest? What? What, 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 what? Since when? Since when is that a thing? Okay, I guess I can't get those sand blocks and I... I don't mind, I don't even care. What are these? Smithing templates! Coast armor trim. Potatoes and paper. Wow. I, that's cool. I don't know. I don't know. This is new to me. Um, anyway, let me uh, figure out how to smithing templates, new recipes unlocked. Okay, that's a first for me. I don't care about the potatoes. I don't care about the excess paper. Don't need to be carrying the flint and steel. Oh, the old back is hurting. Okay, I don't need my cartography table. Why am I doing that? All right, so is there anything else to put in here? Not really. Let's take that poor, poor chest, and how do we get out of here? I mean, obviously, I'm not actually concerned about it, but how did the sailors get up to the other level? Maybe they didn't. Uh, well, I might as well chop some wood and get access to the uh, sand. And I see it is now coming night time, so let's just have a little 
a little camp out in this shipwreck that's embedded in the sand. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Buried treasure map. Oh, it's right. Right here. Let's see if we can find that. I think it's right here. No, it has to be because the map is partly filled in. So, since I'm already digging sand galore. Hello, turtles. How you doing? That reminds me I've got a turtle farm in this world. Okay. Well, it didn't show up in the first the can there it is see that's not so hard is it oh look at all this stuff chest buried treasure map can now go in there iron prismarine heart of the sea diamonds sand Wood and planks, which I do not need, obviously. Leather tunic, cooked salmon. Sure, let's keep that out. Uh, am I missing anything here that could be put away? Should be put away. And now my my poor poor chest is getting full. And. Uh, see here which direction am I facing north okay that'll do let's see if I can launch myself into the sky here from the bottom of this semi pit there we go well that was an interesting little diversion so these episodes I used to always try to cut these off at an hour and I've gotten in the habit of making half hour long episodes with my Minecraft in, in Exile. You sure get a lot more episodes if you, uh, oh crap, 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 crap. I forgot to have the map, oh well, oh well. I don't think I passed any cherry forests. Um, so anyway. I don't know what I'm going to do with the episode length. Um, an hour might be excessive. I mean, it was good for when you're working on a project kind of a thing. Um, the longer episodes, but when you're just kind of mucking around, maybe you don't need so much of that. Will I recognize a cherry forest? Are they always in bloom, for example? Because that would be pretty striking. With the, uh, oops, with the um, pink blossoms. Hmm. Apparently, I'm outpacing the ability of my machine to generate terrain here. you pause will it will it fill in the terrain or will it oh it will okay I'm just gonna give it a moment to catch up you can see that it's still generating terrain in the background there so why not it's demanding a lot actually when you think about it to generate all this all this terrain when you're flying around quickly. Fla Ooh, hey. Speak of the devil. 
I believe this counts as success. Doesn't look like it's that large though, does it? Not that that really matters. I see sheep. I see caves. I see hillside that I'm going to smack into. Um, pigs. <laughs> Cattle down there. I'm going to try to aim for sort of this ledgy area right here. There we go. Look, lobber. A lobber pool. And a bee. Don't go in the lava bee. I don't think the bee's that close to the lava. Oh, hard to tell. Okay, let's go. Uh, whoop. Oh. Seriously? Okay. I guess we have to do a little digging. Let's go say hello to the cherry blossom biome. What have we got here? Pink petals. Can you collect those? Oh, you can. Oh, and you can make dye out of it. Nice pink dye. Very, very lovely. Uh, is that also pink petals? Yes, they have come in different varieties. I wonder if you fertilize the ground in a cherry blossom biome if you get pink petals. Probably. I don't think I have any bone to try that out with at the moment. No. Well, isn't this lovely? Let's, um, I'm looking for a screenshot now. Ooh, bees. Bees and falling blossoms. Oh, lovely. There's lovely. Okay, now that I've got a, a beautiful screenshot, the wood is sort of a pink color, which is cool. And probably not very realistic, mind you, but still interesting. And yeah, this doesn't look like a gigantic biome. The trees are neat, kind of gnarled looking that's the right word. Okay, that answers my question. Like like mad, apparently. All right, I'm going to have to set up my own little cherry grove. I wonder if you can make giant cherry trees. That would be cool. Probably not. So where should I set up a cherry grove in my on my island there? Have I got a good spot? I don't know if I do. Lots of saplings. I should probably replant. Yeah. Let me uh, let me replant a couple of trees here. Maybe I'll take plant one more than I than I chop down. How about that? I have six saplings. Oh, there's lots of lots of leaves. Do they count as leaves? They do. Cherry leaves. Do I have? No, I don't. I don't have a silk touch anything. Or I could collect some cherry leaves. However, I'll plant some. I'll plant some cherry trees back at the base. I will, of course, try to uh, see if I can grow a giant cherry tree. That would be. That would be cool. <laughs> I think it's a little unlikely, but that would be cool. That eh, shows up as pink on the map too. Neat. Um, do I want to hang around here for more time? Maybe not. I'm just going to wander off to the east. My back is stiffening up, stiffening up something horrible. Uh, yeah, I better get to bed here pretty quick.
work day for me. Another beehive. Yeah, this is a not huge. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. It seems like it goes this direction for a bit. I was going to say it's not a huge biome. Oh, lots of bees. Oh, so many bees. Wow. Oh, yeah, it goes off this way. Whoa, what have we here? Some funky cavernous terrain. Okay, I think what I'll do is go back to where I had chopped down those trees. I feel like the beehive spawning rate is maybe higher for cherry trees. Uh, where had I? Is it right here? it oh here just here we go here we go sticks and saplings and everything oh my so many saplings oh hello sheep um i think i'm just gonna leave you alone is what i'm gonna do i take my lime green bed though and uh put that down here somewhere Right about there. Well, that's kind of a nice kind of a nice scene there too. Take another screenshot. Why not? Oh, and there's the moon. Oh, let's find it. Oh, hello. <coughs> Ah. Apparently the cherry blossom, the cherry grow biome isn't, isn't above uh, spawning monsters though. So what is this biome called, by the way? Cherry Grove. Hmm. Good name. All right, so let's find a nice viewpoint here with the moon and the clouds and the cherry trees and everything. How about that? And the stars. All right, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. trying to sleep. I was trying to eat fish. Okay. Beauty. Beauty, beauty, beauty. I'm not quite sure about the logic of having cherry blossoms growing on the ground. But, oh, maybe they're just meant to have fallen from the trees. That's probably what it is, actually. So maybe you wouldn't get them when you... Maybe they accumulate like snow. I wonder if that's how it works. That could be. That could be. Okay. All right. Very fun. Um, I said I was going to explore the the extent of the grove here from from the sky. I will do that now. Another lava pool down there. This, this terrain is a bit wacky. Very, lots of vertical relief. Is that snow? Oh, how odd. And then a giant cavern opening with some hovering. Uh, I don't know what direction I'm going here. Oh, I'm almost at the edge of the map. Okay. 
Well, it looks like I should be able to coast off in this direction a bit before firing off another rocket. gonna pause for a moment and let the terrain fill in a bit in the direction. I think that's the direction that I want to be going. Yeah, more or less. More or less. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. There's plenty of ocean out here. Have I found any warm ocean? Oh yeah, I have actually off to the west and north of my base. Right. So this is clearly a fair bit of water. It's my, it's my amplitude, 80. Okay, that's getting low enough, I think. If you crash into the water, that's a bit of a pain in the butt to get out again. The Elytra. Another ocean monument. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Okay, well. Maybe I will expend some rockets to uh, get the travel going a little faster here. Whew. Now I'm going to outstrip the old map generation by quite a bit. Oh, jeez. Hang on. Okay. Might not be smart to do that for too, mo too long. Don't want the game to crash on me. Letting the terrain generator catch up. Oh, look at this. We're almost at an hour already. Who knew? Okay, I would like to get back to my base. Although I guess there's no compelling reason I need to do that before I wrap up the episode, is there? So, one cherry blossom biome found. One reacquainting myself with this game a little bit accomplished. And one new episode in the bag. So, that's pretty, pretty good. So we'll blitz off this map. And then the game shouldn't be needing to generate any more terrain. So let me change over to this map and also change my direction a bit. south anymore. Right, here's the tall, tall mountains, snow-capped peaks, beneath which I found lots of deep, or some deep dark. I don't think lots exactly, but some. Well, these are tall mountains. If there's any of those huge iron deposits that one hears about, is that one? Oh. 
I think that might be. Uh, there's another. There's another gate down there as well, and a village. Okay, now I'm curious. Yes, a village. Did I know about this gate already? Probably. Bang. Hmm, I wonder. I don't see a chest here. Which suggests that I maybe looted it already. Probably. Probably did, although I didn't take the gold block, but that's not exactly a big loss at this point in the game, I must say. Okay, well. Pretty sure there is a giant iron ore deposit up there. I'm going to have to try to remember to come check that out. Because I haven't seen one of those um, above ground. I did find some underground ones in the deep slate which was kind of neat. Hello, piggies. I am not looking for pork sandwiches today. There's my marker. And that means we are not so far from home. If I burn up some fireworks rockets, we should be there momentarily. Okay, there it is. There's my village, and my librarian work pods, and my tower, and my sheep farm, and everything. And maybe we'll aim to land right over here. How graceful was that for a change? Home again, home again. Jiggity jig. I'm going to have to duplicate that map a couple of times and put it up in my map. Mapaporium. And uh, put away my new materials and figure out where I'm going to plant cherry trees and all that kind of fun stuff. But that'll be for next time. So. Hope you got some enjoyment out of that. I did. I'm happy to be back in my my home and my workspace and my my play space and my creative space and recording episodes of my normal wine, Minecraft world. Although I will continue to play Minecraft in Exile, probably I will retitle it No Longer in Exile. Yeah. I'm trying to wrap this up, aren't I? I always do that. Start digressing when, I, when I'm signing off. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Take good care of yourselves. And I'll see you next time.